What's up everyone? Welcome to Fuzzy Games. Today let's learn how to make a global leaderboard. So I'm going to add this global leaderboard inside of my useless game called Click the Button. Right now you, I just have a part that I'll be working on, just a simple red part. You can add any part that you want, you know, you could do like a cylinder and all that good stuff. And inside of a part, we're going to add a surface GUI. Now inside of our surface GUI, we're going to add a scrolling frame. So this scrolling frame is going to display all of our values, our username, our rank. Inside of my actual surface GUI, I'm gonna change the face of it until I see my scrolling frame. And then inside of the scrolling frame properties, I'm gonna change the position and size of it so that the frame actually takes up most of the part so that it covers most of the part. You know, play around with these you know, number values. For my position, it's gonna be zero comma zero and then 0 0.1 comma zero. And then for the size of it, for it to actually take up most of the, the, the part, let's do one comma zero and 0 0.9 comma zero. Uh, okay, there you go, yeah, 0 0.9, zero. Yeah, I'm just playing around with the values to see which actually looks good. Yeah, okay, so this looks good. Well, cool. now that's done inside of our scrolling frame, let's add a UI list layout. Rename it to UI. We'll be referencing this inside of our script in just a second. And then in our UI properties, make sure that our sort order is layout order. It should be like that by default, but if it isn't, change it to layout order. So now we have our scrolling frame done. We want to add a top bar that's going to display our information. So go ahead and add a frame inside of our surface GUI and rename that to top bar. Now add an image label inside of our top bar and rename it to image. We're going to add three text labels, one inside of image and two inside of top bar. So we're going to rename our text label where the image is the parent to place and then the other two to P name and then the last text label to value right now it looks like an absolute mess with all of our text labels and image um, all jumbled up together but if you play around with the position and size you should get something that is like this so you can copy the position and size values uh, like what i did here for the place p name and value as well as the image play around with the number values you know um, there isn't really a right or wrong way to where it should be positioned. It's really up to you guys. But for me, this is just like how I like it to look. Now, inside of our text labels, make sure that you change the um, text to what you want it to, what you want to display. So it's going to be the rank for me, username, as well as the amount of clicks. So in your game, it could be like the amount of kills someone got, rebirths, how much money they have. But for me, it's just going to be clicks. So now that's done, what we're gonna do is create a duplicate of our top bar. And inside of our top bar, let's go ahead and rename that to sample. Inside of our surface GUI, let's go ahead and add a script. Drag the sample frame inside of our script. So that's what you should have so far. So what we want to do is define our variables. We're going to reference our parts, which is sample, scrolling frame, and our UI. Next up, we're going to go ahead and create a variable that allows us to store the data that we want to keep. Right now, we're going to create a loop that continuously updates and fetches the data. What we're doing here is updating the data for all the players in our game. Our point balance is going to be the clicks, which I saved as my leader stats. Right now, we're just fetching the data that shows us the smallest, so rank number one first, and then rank number two, three, four, and then we're going to set it to show 100 numbers, so 100 ranks. The minimum value is rank number one, and then the max value is rank 100. And then once that's all done, we're just going to organize our data 
and set the image of our player who makes it on our leaderboard. And now all we have to do is organize and organize all of our data that we collected and display it onto our global leaderboard. So we're going to you know, set the color of those who rank first, second, and third place. You can change these colors to however you would like. And then I'll have it wait 10 seconds before the global leaderboard resets itself or updates itself. You can change this you know, value to however long you would like. Um, you can set it to however many minutes. I'm just gonna do 10 seconds so that you guys can see that it updates in this video. Hop into your game and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the button. And then it should update in about 10 seconds. So we'll wait about 10 seconds for it to show up on the global leaderboard and there you go, it's done. The script can be found on the dev forum. It's really helpful in you know, all your Roblox needs. This will also be posted on our website very soon as well as the model. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and as always have fun creating and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.